Hi, Glenn here at the workshop at the gardens and we are out kind of by Wedding in the Woods. You're familiar with that one, Wedding in the Woods right here. It's gonna be a wedding tomorrow, so it's absolutely beautiful and already looking just gorgeous this spring. We are working on the hugel culture today. It's been probably two years since I've done an update on the hugel culture and the stumpery as I call it. Someday I'll finish the video about moving Roosevelt, the big white pine stump, and all of the other stumps. This was phase two of the Hugo Coulter down here. Phase three is down there, and we've got that yet to do. But we've been planting, uh, if you remember from update, the last update, uh, we put some ferns in. Let's walk over there and take a look at it. And if you can't tell, we had a wonderful day of rain yesterday. That's why everything is luscious and green out here right now, including a couple of the weeds. So in that update from two years ago, that's when I planted some ferns here. I'm gonna get an idea how the ferns really fill in and start to take over. Cool thing is, you can see down the row here, we planted, Caroline did, planted, we'll just call it a hundred more ferns give or take 50. We've also been transplanting little oak trees and the oak trees from before that we did are looking quite nice. All right, but today's project on the Hugo culture is we are adding some sugar maples and some red oaks. That's the first one right there planted. So a lot of times when you see instructional videos or people talking about planting trees, they go into this whole thing about amending soil and adding to it. One of the great advantages of planting into a big hugel culture like this is we've already done all of that amending. So just the whole process of creating the hugel culture has created just such a beautiful soil. We're pretty blessed here because we have great topsoil to begin with in this area, but all of the organic matter, the twigs, the branches, the logs that we added to this hugel culture just make it that much better. And you can just see how nice and light and full of organic matter uh, the soil is. If you want me to uh, do a video just on the whole thing of planting trees, leave me a comment down below. Assuming most of you know how to do it, um, but there we go. Looking good. Time for the oaks. We are about to dig in the last of the red oaks, the northern red oak. 25 gallon container up on the top of the Hugo culture. Uh, earlier on Instagram, I shared a photo of a whole bunch of mushrooms. And they were actually, here's the remnants of the mushrooms right here. Those little things, so we knew it was active, but this is kind of cool. Digging in the last layer in the Hugo culture before we put the topsoil. This is all of the twigs and branches that got buried in there. And you can see they're still not totally broken down, but starting to. Just makes such a rich soil. Top of the hugel culture to you.
favorites. Pretty cool, exciting times up on the Hugo Calter and Stumpery. Uh, Caroline is gonna finish planting the trees because I have to go start mowing and getting ready for today's reception. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do, and this is actually gonna be kind of cool, is there is a wedding here in the woods tomorrow. I think I'm gonna set a camera or two out here, take a little footage of the wedding, maybe even fly it with the drone so you can see how cool it is out here uh, so you'll get that so you'll want to watch all right uh, I don't know if there's anything else you can just see all the the little oaks we've been transplanting we transplanted all of these red cedars that one's probably not gonna make it but all the other ones from the hillside out back that's where we got the red cedars the ostrich fern came up from by the main assembly building and we've put a whole bunch, we, see how I use that, we? We've transplanted a whole bunch of false Solomon seal and Jack in the pulpit from over in the woods that needed to get relocated. So those were relocated. So this whole concept of a woodland restoration on top of the Hugo culture is in year number four. Make sure you watch the videos. I'll put a link up above to the first one and then down in the description or comment I'll leave a link for the whole uh, playlist so you can watch how we got this far and it'll be exciting to start phase number three of the Hugo Coulter Stumpery over there but that's it for now Glenn at workshop at the gardens uh, you know what to do hit that subscribe thing down there hit the bell ding follow along as we have fun here at the gardens at the workshop at the gardens and out in the gardens. Enjoy the wedding. So I thought I'd get you a little bit of look into the prairie. Golden Alexander is just absolutely beautiful. Menarda's probably next. And then we have quite the crop of Golden Alexander, but that is just going to be magnificent. Now enjoy the wedding.
And now it is my honor to present as husband and wife, Carl and Becca Mater. Will you all stand and join me in congratulating them? 